Good evening. This is Boy Abunda inviting you to eavesdrop on a private conversation. My guests, Vilma Santos and Ralph Recto, also known as Mr. and Mrs. Recto. Vilma Santos is, of course, one of Philippine cinema's living legends. With her millions of fans and numerous acting awards, she says her most significant role is being mother to her two sons, Luis and Christian, and the third one, of course, Ralph. Two other important roles she plays, mayor of Lipa City, Batangas, and wife of former congressman, now Senator Ralph Recto. After the election controversy over the last two slots in the Senate lineup, the Comelec has finally declared him as part of the Magic 13. Theirs is a classic marriage of show business and politics, not exempt from the intrigues. So tonight we talk showbiz and politics, from relation and adultery to elections and dag dag bawas. Mayor V and Senator Ralph, welcome to Private Conversations. Good evening, boy. Sabi ko sa hirap nila ako magbasa. Pinamahin niya, observa niya. Hindi, I noticed kanina while Pinky Webb was doing the news, you were reading the news. I was trying to. Did you want to be, ano? Did you want to be a newscaster at one point in your life? It's just, I find it, ano eh, interesting. You know, reading it at the same time, parang natural. Di ba? It's hard. It's, It's no joke. It's no joke. It's yeah, definitely. Pero hindi ka nang harap at one point. No way. Gusto newscaster. No way. Artista talaga. Artista. <laughs> Good evening, Ralph. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having uh, me here, having us, both of us here. And How do you call each other? Ralph and V. Talaga, hindi honey, darling. Uh, no. Cutie pie, honey bunch. Mama, papa. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any terms of endearment. You just say Ralph and V. Or sometimes, pag nandiyan si Ryan, we tell him, oh, Papa is there already. Ah, talaga. Yeah, ganun. Pag, ba, uh, pag uh, maganda ang mood, uh, pareho pa rin. Pag galit, pareho pa rin. Pareho pa rin. Ah, so it doesn't change. Ralph, <laughs> tell us, tell us what's, what's the latest about, uh, are we number 12? Are we number 13? Uh, we're very confident to be in the uh, top spot. Uh, I think after the last COC is counted by the National Board of Canvassers, uh, our lead would even uh, increase to at least 50,000 votes. Okay, you're saying this because natural may kopya na kayo ng mga certificates That's of right. canvas That's bago right. dumating yan dito sa Manila. That's right, because partial returns from uh, non-federal. Um, Correct, itself. and so far as Comelec is concerned, eh, ilang palaman ang kailang nababasa, hindi ba? Mga lima, anim? Uh, five so, municipalities out of 39 in Lanao del Sur. Correct. But at the end of the, third, of, of, of the count, you're saying you're confident that your lead uh, will increase to... At least 50,000, at least. At least? That's right. All right. Okay, so wala nang pag-asa si Senator Hunasa na makapunta sa uh, pang labing dalawa? Basta tiyak ako, pang labing dalawa tayo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were accused of vote uh, padding and shaving. And, true, and, and true. Your political rivals have filed a petition for, uh, how do you call that, petition for correction of manifest errors. Did you also file cases against them? Uh, that's right. Yes, we, we have as well. Uh, in fact, we've identified a few more towns where we think that uh, they've added votes and uh, nagdagdagbawas din sila. Eh, ba't ka binawasan ng 93,000 votes? Actually, what is not reported in the media is that everyone binawasan ng voto. When you say everyone... All candidates. Lahat ng kandidato? Lahat ng kandidato. Ping Laxon, for example, uh, binawasan siya ng 100,000 votes. Okay. Uh, Winnie Monsoon, 60,000 votes. Okay. Uh, Loy Estrada, everyone, all the candidates. V. How and Angara, 50,000 uh, votes. Ah, talaga? Angara yes. also, yes. uh, 50,000 votes? Yes, in the same provinces that uh, they've had the petition against us. Why was the attention on you? Well, apparently, it seems like that I would have been, or I am the most vulnerable among the PPC Because candidates. you were in the 12th uh, slot. That's right. Uh, or uh, not, not necessarily, but uh, I am the eighth among the eight strongest PPC candidates. Okay, kung may mahihila... Ako na yung ah, okay. Right. So we understand that. I am most uh, vulnerable. How do you feel about all these things? Na pipikon. Na <laughs> pipikon. I tell him. Talaga. Um, uh, actually, boy, gusto kong sumagot. Yung ako na pipikon for him. Gusto mo ikaw ang sabi pa. I'd rather keep my mouth shut. But uh, <laughs> uh, let's just never frustrate ako when it comes to ganito pala. And I always tell ganito okay. pala ang politika, Ralph. Mm. Oh, naman. As if you didn't know. Sa asali pa ba? Walang problema? Kung baga, papasok pa lang ako ng second term. So kung baga yung talagang politics, hindi pa rin ganun kalawak yung... Nung araw kasi nadidinig ko lang yung bagdagdag bawas and ngayon eto sa harapan ko nangyayari kay Ralph. So, uh, uh, okay. How was, how was your experience uh, in the past election? What do you mean? Ito Against yung... Mario Panganiban. Ah, okay. The second term. The second term. Okay. Eto kasi, mas, mas uh, head-on ako this time kasi sabay ang... Ang aming uh, mm -mm. campaign. Correct. So unlike 1998, talagang organization ni Ralph. So this okay. time, head-on ako. Nandiyan si, si Ralph to, to guide me. 
Uh, pero this time, ngayon mo nalalaman yung totoo. Like, uh, kilala mo lahat ng coordinators. Alam mo kung sino yung naglalaro. Alam mo kung sino yung talagang truly na naniniwala sa'yo. Alam mo kung sino rin talaga yung kalaban mo. At meron way. ka ng programa at meron ka ng mga nagawa yeah, but the na baon-baon. The, the difference now, nung 1998, ikaw ang bago, ikaw ang pumasok. Since ikaw ngayon na incumbent, that's the difference. May mga tao ka ng kalaban because of yung mga decisions na ginawa mo being a mayor. And uh, because of those decisions, merong pumanig at merong lumayo. Uh, definitely. Expected yon. Expected so, yon. But obviously, you had more, uh, you had more votes. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, thank you. Ralph, did and you... she won in all barangays, so, and she was the first... She did. ...mayor to be proclaimed uh, nationwide. Remember, I'm from Lipa, I should know. Oh. <laughs> no, but Ralph, do you realize that you had, uh, you got so much votes in the Visayas? Yes, uh, that was expected. Were you sir? Ah, expected, mayor? Expected, John. Ba ba bakit? Uh, in Region 6, 7, and 8, I, I got more than 1.2 million votes head lead over my opponents. That's right. Uh-oh. -uh. That's right. My question is, I, uh, why didn't you come out number one in Region 4? Uh, in did region you expect four, to be number one? No, I never expected because the PPC did not campaign, even campaign in Region 4. Why I was, not? Uh, I why was not? not even able to campaign in uh, Laguna, Cavite, Rizal, Mindoro, oh. Marinduque. I, I, I was not even able ba to bucket, run for Blonde. Well, but hindi ka well, number one, no? uh, Number one, uh, I only decided to run for the Senate in uh, January 24 this year. Let's stop there. Was that true? Uh, all, all the talks about you planning to run for governor or mayor or no, V for uh, no, governor no, no, no. and you for no, mayor? No, no. Anong totoo doon? No. Uh, from the very beginning, I was more interested in an executive position to run for governor of the province. Okay. What and, made uh, you change your mind? Well, the opportunity of uh, running for the Senate was And the one. surveys? Definitely. And that the president asked me to run for the Senate. Okay. We were going to the issue of uh, PPC not campaigning in Region 4. That's right. You Okay. You decided no. late. Uh, I decided late, so I've not been able to campaign nationwide or put up my organization nationwide, no? Okay. Uh, and the PPC in its strategy thought that we would, we should be doing all well in Region 4, Metro Manila, and probably Region 3. So we concentrated in other areas. That was a miscalculation? Possibly. Batangas, were you number one? Uh, number two. But in my district, I was number one. Ah, uh, okay. Number two, because I think Nori de Castro did very well in, um, in the entire country, no? Uh, so I became number two in the entire province, but I was number one in my district. Ang mga lipenyo daw were very cold to the puwersa. Did you have anything to do with it? Of course not. Bo Boy! Ano narinig mo yun? Yeah, oo. Talaga kasi limang daan. Ako narinig ko yun. Yung usap-usapan sa mga... Buti ka lipenyo ko nga 300. 300, para na lang sa lipot. So ang tanong ng marami, baka naman eh... Of course not, boy. I mean, you know, these things hindi ko masyadong pinakikialaman. That's why I felt really bad nung nalaman ko pati yung... Lipa ay sinama, sinama nila doon sa issue, sa issue ng dagdag bawas. Uh -huh. okay. Pati yung Lipa because I, I, I am the mayor. Okay. Parang pinalabas nila na pati doon ay nandaya kami. So I guess okay. you're, you're, it's not true. But Comela came out with a resolution no? that uh, yeah. there was no cheating in Lipa. Okay. Ralph, your, your campaign battle cry was para sa pamilyang Pilipino. Una sa lahat pamilyang, pamilyang Pilipino. Pilipino. Value-oriented. Precisely. Do you realize that there's so much pressure that you two cannot commit uh, mistakes? Especially on the marital angle. That's you know what I mean? And napaka, uh, napakataas ng pressure na... Alam mo, boy, uh, that, 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 that campaign slogan was really selected, no? Uh, number one, it talks about my personal values. And number two, uh, it's a political philosophy. It is an entire platform of government on its own, no? Uh, all uh, policies and program, programs of government should be geared toward the upliftment of Filipino families. Mm -hmm. And to me, that speaks of uh, my character. Uh, how important, what value I have for my own family. And basically, your platform of government is similar to your platform of government. Right. Halos right. magkapareho yun. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, ang expectations ng tao, Ralph, sa buong bansa, mm. is that basically, you know, it's, it's uh, di ba, senador at saka mayor. Parang hindi kami pwede magkagalit. Hindi. <laughs> hindi kayo pwede magkagalit. Oh. Hindi kayo pwedeng, uh, there cannot be problems. This That's is a perfect true. marriage uh, in, in the face of, of uh, the whole country. That's why when people started talking about Vilma Santos not being seen often enough mm -hmm. in your campaign uh, mm -hmm. sorties. You know, people started, uh, WAG started saying, sure. hey, mm -hmm. you know, something is wrong somewhere. Mm -hmm. Ralph is seeing somebody else. <laughs> v is mad. I mean, hindi ba? Tapos hindi ba ako umati, I didn't attend your proclamation. Yeah, proclamation. So, Lalo pa yun. The more. Lalo pa yun. Na, na, nawala ka sa the proclamation. More, so. Galit na nga si Vilma Santos. Talagang... Running for the Senate, you have to have some form of dignity as well. No? Correct. 
So ayaw naman natin na sabihin ng tao na ginagamit. But the political ba? landscape is far from being really so dignified, Ralph. That's right. And you know, even if, even if, for example, that we, what's up with me in the um, different campaign sorties that we had, no? Okay. Uh, no, well, number one, I didn't want to make it difficult for her. Okay. Number two, it would be more difficult also to organize uh, you know, her and her staff. Security. To really, yes. security but how many else. times did you campaign for Ralph? Limang lugar, ah? Five cities? No, uh, no. Five? Uh, the proclamation rally for the party. Ah, yeah, right. The meeting, the, the advance for the party. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, so you so did twice. go. Party there, and then, in spite of the fact that you were also campaigning for yourself. Exactly. No? And uh, one in Cebu. Cebu, Bacolod. One in Bacolod. Apat so four. lang, four. Four? Yes. And some people were complaining. I that guess. You should have been there uh, eight, ten times. But anyway, everybody eavesdropping on this conversation tonight, this is our chance to set records straight. What's wrong? I mean, what's happening between the two of you on the personal level? Uh, <laughs> are you happy? Is there any problem? But before we talk about this, I'll take a okay. short break. Guys, you're eavesdropping on a conversation I'm having with Senator Recto and Mayor Vilma Santos. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. here on private conversations is there any problem you know you can you guys can talk to me i mean tell me <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, yeah I, I, you know i can advise <laughs> i mean you know people have been talking about this once and for all i mean everyone is dropping on this conversation may problema ba talaga sa inyong dalawa boy I'm, I'm very very transparent believe me I know. even sa city hall you know me even sa city hall pag nagtatampuhan kami ni Ralph alam nila because i tell them i okay. tell them straight na nag-aaway kami ngayon ni congressman <laughs> you know, so, kung, kung itong ina-expect nila... Nag-away ba kayo during the campaign? Ah, no, no, no. During the campaign. So, baseless talaga yung mga kwento, no, 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 right? during the campaign. It was really baseless. Definitely. Why do you think it came about? Because Sharon was sin more? Maybe. Uh, Maybe. With Kiko than V, no? Mm -hmm. But the difference naman kasi si Sharon, hindi tumakbo. Pero miski ako, actually, nagulat din ako, eh. Well, that's what I'm saying, di ba? Nagulat din ako, bigla, eh. Not right an ordinary wife of a senator, no? She's also mayor and she has her own duties yeah. and responsibilities to fulfill. It was a walk in the park daw, sabi <laughs> ng mga political writers. It was so easy daw to... No, 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 no. It's Hindi not rin, Ito nga yung sinasabi ko kanina, the difference now, incumbent tayo. Hindi ganun kadali pag ikaw ay incumbent. So, may, may fight din dito. May fight. Hinahanapan ka rin ng tao. Especially, ang difference kasi nung 1998, hindi ako uh -oh. pwedeng lumapit sa tao kasi nandun pa yung curiosity. So, lahat ng rallies na ginawa ko, talagang puro... Puro na on stage. But this time, hinahanap nila yung house to house. I know what it means. Nakakamayan ka, nakikita ka. Yeah, so so that's what we did this time. Yung talagang mano-mano? Mano-mano. Ah, did you solve that problem in Bolbok? Ang nila, yeah, no, no, no. Iba yung issue ng Bolbok. Yung issue ng Bolbok. Bolbok, uh, guys, is so one a... Of barangays, one of the barangays. One of the barangays in Lipa. In Lipa. Yung bridge kasi doon na bumagsak. Oh, so, yun ay nabid na, nandun na yung programa. Ginawang issue yan laban sa'yo. Yeah, yun. nataon lang kasi uh, election. So, nagamit sa election. Pero hindi na kami sinisingil dun sa village. No more, kasi no more. Na... <laughs> uh, unfortunately, kasi private yung lugar na dinadaanan eh. Private yung... Keb Correct. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's a... were, were there uh, Vilma Santos votes and vice versa? What do you mean? I mean, uh, were there votes actually na... Sa'yo? For the Senate? Senate? For the no, Senate? No. Wala naman. Wala, wala naman. Wala, wala. I mean, because, you know, your effect uh, on Vilma, 98% Ralph voted for you when you last ran for 92. Congress. Diba? 90... 98% of the vote. Of the votes. That's right. Diba? That's I mean, right. so, sometimes I would be surprised that some people in Lipa would vote for Ralph Santos. Wala naman mga ganun pagkata. Wala, wala, wala. V, wala na, wala. ano yung pinakamagandang nagawa mo sa Lipa? Palagay ko yung uh, programa kong MBN, yun ang pet project ko doon. What, what does it mean? Minimum basic needs approach. Kasi uh, I, I guess uh, yun ang nagpalapit sa akin sa tao sa lipa. Ito yung, isa ng pro, ito yung isang programa where okay. you go to the barangays. Nakikita mo personal ang mga tao sa bawat barangay pinupuntahan mo. And then per barangay, inaalam mo yung seven major problems 
na meron yung barangay. Doon sa pitong major, uh, major problems nila, I'm not saying lahat yon ay matutu ma may bibigyan ng solusyon. But the, thing is, but the thing is, at least alam mo kung ano yung dapat mga unang tugunan. At, uh, at personal yung konta. Exactly. Nakasama ko dyan. Kasi may ko... sistema, kailangan may sistema para walang sayang na panahon, walang sayang na oras, at higit sa lahat, walang sayang na pera. Is that what you did when I went with you once to a number of barangays? Yes, yes, yung yes. Yung consultasyon? Personal, oo. Oh, ah, personal okay. sa tao. That's why I tell them, kasi kung misa nung, I remember 1998 ang sinasabi nila, nasasanay daw sila sa isang mayor or local, local official na nakikita lang nila pagkakampanya. Okay. So ang ginawa ko Would ngayon... Would you talk about Mali? No, no. I no. guess kung sino man yung ibang naging mayor. Wala naman akong <laughs> okay. background ng politics eh. So ang ginawa ko, hindi ako yung mayor palagi nasa office. I go out sa barangay through my MBN programs. Did you talk to Ruben Umali? Not, or did anybody negotiate with the Umalis for him not to run against you no, in no, this election? No, no, no. I okay. don't know with Ralph. No, there were conversations. Huh? Ah, okay. There were yes, conversations. Definitely, definitely. Uh, that definitely. Uh, of course, that he was interested to run for mayor, and that he may be interested to run for congressman. Okay. And that he wanted to make a deal, for Did example. Did you encourage him to run for congress? Uh, he wanted to make a deal, for example, okay, I run for congress, but give me five uh, councillor seats, so on and so forth, no? Mm -hmm. Which ah, I okay. said, no, no deal. Did he win? He lost. Ah, he did. He lost. He lost. Also his son. Yeah. Lost as well. No. Vice mayor. Vice, vice, vice yeah. mayor. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Manguera still won, no? Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, dito sa Lipa, uh, V, maraming mga, maraming, you know, ang politika parang show business. Sinasabi nila after the flag ceremony, uh, si Vilma ay bumabalik agad ng Maynila. How many days do you spend in Lipa? Three days usually. MWF. Okay. And then, uh, yung ibang mga appointments ko rito. Uh, siguro, this is a perfect time pwede kong sabihin yan, boy. Kasi yung, yung dalawang araw na, sa so weekdays na, na, ini-spend ko rito sa Manila. Ito yung time na kung saan nakikiusap ako at nakikipag-appointment ako sa mga tao, let's say senators or my friends, kung saan humihingi ako ng tulong for additional funds. Mga ahensya rin. Like, for example, hmm. siguro, I, I, I hope Rani po won't mind, no? Like, Alam nga naman akong hingi ng tulong, sila pa ang ko sa Lipa. I'll invite them to go there. Nila lunch ko pa sila, dinner ko pa sila. Guess what? Tumingi lang ako additional fund para sa infra pa ng mga barangay. Kirani po, humingi ako ng lupa para sa barangay Bulbok. Would you believe? Para sa simbahan yata ito, ano? Pa, iba pa yung sa simbahan. Ah, sa simbahan pa? na yung para sa inyo sa Mabini. Uh -huh. Itong kay, kay Rani po para pagtayuan ng multipurpose hall okay. para sa barangay Bulbok. Okay. So nagbigay naman si Ran, hinihingi ko lang sa kanya 300 square meters ang sabi ni Ran. I hope I hope eh, baka magalit si Ran. Ayaw niya ng mga ganito eh. I but sabi ni Ran sa akin ni Rani po, alam mo vi ngayon kita nakita na humihiling not even for yourself but for other people. So instead of giving you 300 square meters, sige, bibigay ko sa iyo 500 square meters sa lote niya sa Lipa. Okay. And then yan yung sa Mabini, hinihingi yung lote doon kay Doy Laurel para doon sa pinagtatayuan ng chapel. So these are the people that kinakausap. Ibinigay ni Doy Laurel? Yeah, it's just, I'm just waiting for the deed of, ano, uh, you let us know, uh, because we can help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, somebody also said, V, that Lipa is getting to be the murder capital daw of, uh, you, you've heard about this, of Southern Luzon. Yeah, but it's not true, boy. It's not 100 true. cases, murder cases, un, uh, unsolved. Uh, in your administration? No, it's not true, boy. Kulang sa police. True. At, at this, at this point, no, 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 no. Of course not. Okay, so, so why are they talking about this? At this point, mas mataas pa rin ang, ang, uh, ang problema ng Batanga City when it comes to peace and order. Kulang ka ba sa police? Definitely, lahat. I guess lahat. All LGUs, kulang. Lahat. Of your 500 million budget now, you're just allotting like 2 million for the police force. Yeah, because there are... It's an augmentation. Yeah. Nag-augment lang tayo sa PNP doon. The ang, PNP's budget comes from the national, national government. National pa rin ang PNP. Not from the local government. No, nag-augment lang tayo ng budget sa kanila. So paninira ito, kasi napaka dami daw mga murder cases sa Lipan. And also, and also, yun yung sinasabi kong community involvement, boy. Mm -hmm. Pinakamahirap kasi, magre-reklamo sila. Pero kapag nandiyan na yung kaso at may nangyari, humanap ka ng testigo, walang gustong magsalita. Yan ang sinasabi ko, papano natin mga kasuhan kung ayaw niyong tumestigo? Kung okay. gusto niyong makasuhan at, at mabigyan ng solusyon itong, uh, mabigyan ng kaso itong, itong krimen, then I guess kailangan may tumestigo. But the thing is, ayaw rin. Mm -hmm. And then yung some, some incidents naman ay more on personal, mga illegal... Uh... Do you guys travel around with bodyguards? Uh, naalala ko lang ngayon, Aguinaldo has just been murdered. You know, politicians are, are targets now of, of, of you know, of uh, killers and criminals. Aren't you afraid for your lives? I, I am. Di ba? I mean, but... Uh... I'm not. 
You're not? Ako I'm a mother. I'm a mother, boy. I know. I mean, do you carry guns? I know you have a firing range back in your house in Lipa, <laughs> but do you use it? Nagka-target shooting naman ako. Oh, you should, di ba? Yeah, nung madagong nakaka-target ako, pinahinto ako ni Ralph, eh. That's true. Talaga? Aminin mo, Ralph. Gamit ko pa yung baril niya, eh. Aminin mo, Ralph. You were saying you're not afraid. Why aren't you afraid, Ralph? I mean, you know. I have no enemies. I don't think I have any enemies. No, but you don't have to have enemies for anybody to kill you. I mean, some people just kill because they want to kill. I think These I are can, interesting I think, times. I think I can defend myself. You can defend yeah. yourself. Yeah, but the thing is, kahit sabihin ko na ako ay natatakot, ang sinumpaan kong, ang sinumpaan kong katungkulang bilang mayor ng Lipa, hindi ko tatalikuran. That's why I always, I always tell myself, I always pray, God, nilagay mo ako dito, so take care of me. Pero kung, kung dahil sa takot ko, with all these things, itong mga, mga ambush na to, hindi ko aatrasan ang trabaho ko sa Lipa dahil sinumpaan ko, sinumpaan ko yan. In all your years in politics, point, boy, you no. never had a threat? No, never. Talaga? Uh, that's another point, boy. No? I, I have a very strong faith as well. Now I know that nothing will happen to me. Correct. Let's talk about your agenda. And I can defend myself, like I said. How? I mean, do you know karate? Or do you <laughs> carry a, a machine gun? Or? No, no, I have a pistol. I'm, uh, we're a family of shooters as well. My father was an Olympian. Okay. Uh, because, I, you know, you have to be able to habit. defend yourself. Diba? Right. I mean, these that's are right. very dangerous times. Anyway, that's right. That's right. Um, Platon is just the next town that's from right. Tanawan. From that's Tanawan, right. which is very that's close right. to Lipa. That's I mean, right. anything that can happen to any politician can happen to anybody. Legislative agenda. First is education, Ralph. You've been education, talking about education. That's right, that's right. Okay. You know, th there is a correlation between education, survival rate in the elementary level, and poverty incidence in this country, no? Uh, my first term, I was chairman of the Special Committee on Poverty Alleviation, no? and I authored the Social Reform and Poverty Alleviation Act, which created the National Anti-Poverty Commission, diba? which is now at the forefront of uh, reducing poverty incidence in this country. In simple words, Ralph, may nagawa ba yan sa bayan? Uh, isang batas na ginawa natin yan, pero hindi naman tayo nag implement yan. Executive ang nag implement yan, di ba? Okay. Napasayan in 1997, sa panahon ni Erap yan, I thought we could uh, do a lot during the time of Arab, kasi era para sa mahirap eh. That was the, that, that, that should have been the, the centerpiece of his government. That's right, and nandito na yung structure okay. na pwede niyang gamitin para sa kanyang programa. But I'd like to point out no, that, uh, like I said, no, uh, poverty incidence and the survival rate at elementary level may one-on-one -on -one interconnected, relationship yes. yan, no? uh, For example, uh, many people don't realize that only of 100 who start in grade one, only 65 finish elementary, 35 finish high school, 12 finish college, no? only 65% finish elementary, and that's why 35% of Filipinas live below the poverty line. A 1% improvement in the survival rate at the elementary level translates to 1% reduction in poverty incidence. That is the experience of most of the Southeast Asian countries. Okay. That's something we should do in the Philippines. The biggest dropout rate is in gra from grade 1 to grade 2. Okay. You take a look, no? And that's why I've always uh, uh, pushed for food feeding programs, especially from grade 1 to grade 2. Lahat so ng that, statistics na yan, meron ako. Para, oh nga, no, uh, ang, ang tanong ko kasi, given these statistics, mga, okay. Para ang mga estudyante manatili sa eskwela. Chances Because are, dahil sa wala silang kinakain, the yeah. tendency is to drop out of school. That's right, no? Halimbawa, 90% of those who do not finish also elementary and who live below the poverty line, their parents have not also finished elementary. So it is not something that they saw or they, they want to do, no? Kasi That's right. nakita lang sa mga magulang nila. Hindi nila binibigyan ng kahulagan o yung value ang edukasyon din nila. Dahil yung magulang hindi rin nakapagtapos eh. Okay, Ralph, alam mo, kapanahon ng panang lolo mo, pinag-uusapan na ito. Alleviation of poverty, pinag-uusapan na itong kahirapan ah, ng ah, Pilipino, ah. et cetera, et cetera. Paano gagawin? Diba? Oo, paano ah, gagawin? Ito, ito. Why? And my question is... Itong programa ko. Okay. Edukasyon, kalusugan, infrastruktura, kabuhayan, uh, social security and tax reform. Lahat ng politiko marahil babanggit ito itong lima. Tama ka. Lahat everyone, na everyone, everyone will talk about education, health, Nobody has a monopoly to talk about education, that's right, infrastructure, that's right, that's right. etc., etc. Okay. So, bottom line... Is, How are you going to make a difference? That's right. Bottom line is your tax reform agenda. How much resources does a national government have? People don't know that there is more corruption in the revenue side of government than on the expenditure side. Really? Yes. In the expenditure side, you know, there are statistics that say uh, 20 percent of the national budget goes to corruption. I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. Huh? Okay. Uh, 20 percent of capital outlays go to corruption, not the international budget. You cannot steal uh, what is paid to the foreign debt. Okay. Hindi, what can, hindi mo pwedeng oh, nakawin right. yan, di ba? Yung sa national, yung iram binibigay sa lokal, hindi na nanako ng national yan. Okay. No? 
yung salaries of employees hindi mo pwedeng nakawin yan. So ano yung mga nananakaw? Yung capital outlay lang. Diyan ang mayroong in inefficiency. Infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Infrastructure. Buildings, precisely, di ba? So now, how much is the budget ba for capital outlay talaga? How It's much? It's only 90 billion. So how much goes to corruption? 18 billion, more or less. Wow. Okay. So, but you know, that, that's very small. I'll, I'll point, put it out this way, no? Our tax collection efficiency, boy, is only 12.3% of GDP. Okay. Our neighbors are doing about 26%. A 1% increase in tax collection efficiency is 30 billion. A 3% okay. increase is 90 billion. That wipes out your deficit. Can you imagine what we can do for education, for health, for infra infrastructure, livelihood by improving tax collection efficiency? Now, I'd, I'd go back to your original statement that there is more corruption in the revenue, in, side. In the revenue side. Precisely. My point, huh? What we are losing in the revenue side is about 300 to 400 billion a year. We lose them to the collectors? You lose them to the collectors, the private sector who doesn't pay their taxes, okay. so on and so forth. No, now, there I'm is more corruption, more taxes. inefficiency, okay. also in the private sector than in the public sector. But how do you do What that? was the financial crisis in Asia all about in 1997? It was Lack all of about... transparency of the banks, for example. Okay. Uh, the private sector uh, uh, participation in the economy is 82%, boy. The public sector's participation is only 18%. Okay. And what was the Asian crisis all about? It was not only about transparency in the public sector, but more so transparency in the private sector. The citizenry. The citizenry. You know, I have a question. Do you file your income tax together? And how much are you worth, both of you? <laughs> but before we talk about it, because we're talking about taxes, we're talking about money, I'd like to find out... How rich is Miss Vilma Santos and Senator <laughs> Ralph Recto? I like the way you laugh. But we'll take a short break, guys. When we come back, we'll try to find out. Gaano ba kayaman? Si Senator at Mayor uh, ng Lipa City and Senator Ralph Recto. Stay with us. We will be back in a moment. How much are you worth? <laughs> boy, you, before we answer that, uh, comfortable you know, enough. Uh, boy, boy, yeah, before we answer that, uh, in the in the states, the first thing that they are, they debate between the Republicans and the Democrats is tax policy. That's right. That's not a political issue in this country. I I wonder why. Like for example, one of the because everything is centralized at the national government. People running for mayor and governor don't talk about tax policy in this country. They don't. But at least in Lipay, it was an election issue. It was, huh? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I, I heard about it. Pero Bush was very proud about the tax, tax uh, cut. relief. That's right. You know, that they were giving uh, And Americans. that's my that's my tax reform package also in the Senate. Similar to what yes. uh, w, George W. Bush yes. has in America right yes. now. Yes. You like the Republicans or the Democrats? Uh, I, am, uh, I am a conservative liberal. Ah, you're a con You know, a lot of people I'm use Tony the word... Blair. <laughs> Tony Blair is being whacked by the English press. Kind of, I, you know, still he's won. back. He's still won. I mean, he's still won. But anyway, uh, V, um, issue on taxation sa Salipa. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't forgotten my question. How much are you guys worth? Do you do you Boy, actually... We, we have to file statements of assets and liabilities. Magkasama ba kayo? Magkasama yun, mm -hmm. di ba? Okay. Uh, we are worth, more or less, about 220 million. You're rich, huh? I'd like to be your friend. No, no, no. <laughs> boy, boy, 95% of that okay. is owned by her. 95%? That's right. Talaga? And then 5% is yours? You and you didn't make money as congressman for nine years? Congressmen no, are supposed to be rich. How much no, are congressmen no. supposed to earn? Uh, the congressman makes about basic salary for about 35000 a month. Parang senador. Senador is supposed to get 35000 yeah. Mayor but, is supposed to get that much. But we do have 29. allowances. 29000 <laughs> But we 29, do have allowances. Yeah, I heard but about that. But that's not our only income, di ba? You know, one advantage being in Congress, for example, no, is that I know when interest rates are going to go up. I know when the exchange rate is going to fall. As you deal on stocks. That's right. I is that lawful? Is that allowed by law? Yes, it is. Ah, talaga. Oh. It is. Okay, uh, V naman, I'm sure, I mean, everybody eavesdropping on this conversation made a lot of money even before she became mayor. I'd like to oh, make that naman, clear. Oh, naman, my God. Dito. Since I was nine, <laughs> since I was nine naman, boy, nagtatrabaho na ako. So, kung ano man meron ako, blood, sweat, and tears. I Correct. Mean, I, I, uh -huh. 
I didn't get this overnight. Talagang hard work. Pero alam mo, Ralph, ang dami po mapasok talaga sa politiko na gustong yumaman. Yan ang, uh, yan ang maling value sa ating bansa. Diba? Ano? Uh, marami kasi nag-iisip. And it's not only in politics. Mm. Uh, marami nag-iisip na kung it's networking, it's not what your talents are. They it's network, that, it's like sales. Huh? That's right. It's not networking in the sense that people think that you can get ahead of life because of who you know. Okay. It's not so much how educated you are or what talents and skills you have. Okay. Diba? Ralph, uh, let's talk about the Senate presidency. Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, we're campaigning for Joker Arroyo, and uh, there are uh, potentially three candidates in the PPC. Uh, we think the next Senate president should come from the PPC. There's no doubt about that. We have more talent than person on mass, and that's why we have three candidates. Jilon and Caetano were talking about this, but you know, as Lord and Legarda would say, you have to decide. You have to have a caucus and decide. And just field come. one. Yeah, it's very yeah, early. That will in the happen. Day. But it's if you were, if day. you were to be asked by you know, ng sampay ng Pilipino, why Joker? But why Joker Arroyo? Why not Joker to begin with, diba? He's got well, more I'm experience. very biased because I Ito. like Joker. Ito. He's got more experience. Um, probably more experienced than many of the others uh, aspiring. For example, he's been congressman for nine years. Si Cayetano has only been senator for three years. Pero hindi ko tinatawaran ng kagalingan naman ni Rene Cayetano, di ba? Nangangampanya ka lamang para kay Joker. Nangangampanya lang ako para kay Joker. But sigurado na siya ng ilang boto? Uh, kami pa, sa ngayon, kami pa ang pinakamaraming boto. Apat na kami. And I made that statement earlier. Baka magulat sila. Sa <laughs> two weeks time, baka anim na kami. Talaga? Oh. Well, good luck. I mean, uh, you will be, as uh, V would say, you are going to be the what? The Benjamin of, of the <laughs> Senate, no? I remember well, that's 4 out of 13 to begin with. I know, I know. It's 4 out of 13. So next that's week, right. if you're 6 out of 13, that's like 7 that's almost, to go. That's, that's almost a critical mass. You don't need to have 13 immediately. I liked what Frank Delon said last week. Mm -hmm. You're 24 senators in the Senate with 24 different parties. Napakadaming partido, no? So you have to have coalitions. I mean, that's for right, you to right. make a dent in the Senate. That's what right. do you think about turncoats? Or balimbings, I mean, to be mm -hmm. clear. That, that is expected today in Philippine politics because we don't have a two-party system. No, but even in the two-party system, that happens. Who is that a happens. senator who well, went it uh, also happened democratic? In, uh, the... That's right. Uh, that the Republicans lost one seat What's to the his, Democrats. That's right? right. And now they have a majority in the House. Correct. They buy in the, in the, in the U.S. Congress. Oh, oh, but, but, but these things happen. But, you know, uh, the funny thing in this country also is the lack of political maturity of our politicians, of the public and the political parties. For example, what is the difference between the legislative agenda of Person and Masa in Lakas, or the PPC. Is there? There is none. Correct. Um, basically, we're all for globalization. We're all liberal-minded. Alleviation that's of poverty. I, I, that's why I welcome uh, the progressive forces, for example, Bayan Muna. They are the conservatives in Philippine society. Okay. So you now have the liberals and the conservatives. Okay. Diba? Eventually, a few years from now, you will have a defined political philosophy and economic philosophy. Really? Yes. That's exciting. Yes. Uh, that's exciting. Like the I Republicans, look forward to... Like the Republicans uh, and the Democrats. Diba? Maliwanag ang that's right. kaibahan ng dalawa. I really know. I, I go for the two-party system, Ralph, right. to be very honest. Mm -hmm. uh, because political ideologies come very, very clear. But you see, that the in the Philippines, we have a multi-party system now because our democracy is very young. We have a very young democracy. Well, compared to England and to America, precisely, indeed, precisely. We, are, we, are, we are very young. Okay. Let, let's talk about certain uh, national issues now. Are you for charter change? Sabi ni Frank Zilon, eh, payag mm. daw siya sa charter change to mm. give powers mm. to mm. the president to be able to address a, for example, terrorist mm. Uh, crisis. Mm. Mm. You know, uh, as an economist as well, no, uh, boy, uh, a charter change would cost us about 2.5 to 4.5 I asked that pesos. if you can afford a charter change. If we had 2.5 to 4.5 billion pesos lying around, I'd rather spend it on education. I think That's you make a, a very important point. Right. Vikao, anong pakiramdam mo dito sa mga Abu Sayyaf, itong pinag-uusapan natin? Bilang isang ina ng bayan at bilang ina ni Christian at ni Luis. I feel, I feel, I feel very, very bad. Uh, kung ano yung nasa isip ni Presidente, ganun din ako. Maybe because we, pareho kaming babae. Nakakalungkot, ano? Nakakalungkot. Maraming nadadamay, plus alam mo kung anong ginagawang... Kasi akala, ang, ang epekto nito hindi lang yung gera. Okay. So, mas malawak ang epekto nito itong ginagawa ng ilang tao. At saka ang takot no, ng mga siya. nanay. I mean, wala na yata nakakatulog ng mahimbing until, you know, they see their children safe in bed, no? Of course. Di ba? I mean, sa, sa gabi, halimbawa, hindi mo alam kung anong susunod ang mangyayari. Of course. Drugs sa lipa. 
Kung ang, ang problema natin doon? Well, I guess uh, sa ngayon continuous yung program. Uh, siguro na balitaan mo yung nangyari sa atin sa Lipa, no? nagkaroon ng drug bust. Okay. Na nakakuha sila. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 1,000 kilos. Yeah, worth, nakahuli uh, kami ng 1,000 yeah. kilos doon. Sa barangay San Tulio. Pero alam mo, oh, anong nangyari doon? Uh, ikaw daw ang nag-dip and then... Uh, no, no, hindi ako. Ito yung sinasabi yung community involvement. Ah, okay. Uh, nangyari, pro, okay. nangyari ang, ang pagsusumbong, ang, ang napuna nila sa barangay Santo Nino, yung mga tao, yung okay. mga tiga barangay. And then when they notice the smoke and the smell, sinabihan yung mga barangay officials. Really and then na Nag-observe nag, nag mga barangay. Seven months lang naman nangyari yun eh. Okay. Seven months, nag-report sa mga barangay officials and then uh, nagbantay after that. One particular night, nakita nilang sobrang usok and amoy. Ni-refer naman sa PNP, PNP. at nagtrabaho ang PNP. They went there, nagkaroon ng surveillance. After that, that early morning, 6.30 a.m., pinasok nila. When they reported that 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 incident to me, ang unang-unang tinanong ko, Meli Peño bang nagtatrabaho? Wala. Talagang siyam na Taiwanese ang nahuli. Lahat mga dayuhan. Yes, na, dayuhan na talagang hindi, for, e I think for export. Hindi Taiwanese. Ang, ano? From mainland China. Pero Taiwanese ang nahuling nagtatrabaho, uh, Ralph. No, mainland China. Ah, talaga? Uh, no, Ralph, boxes. ang tanong ko, alam mo, masyadong walang tiwala ang tao. Kasi pag sinasabi ko na huli uh, ng PNP ng military, but there's so much distrust, no? Or mistrust on, on the military. Pagkakatapos mahuli, nasa ano yung mga drugs? but hindi ito na puputol, nahuhuli, sinusunog? Mm -hmm. Eh, ang sabi naman nila, ito lang sina ang pinag-uusapan. Bumabalik naman daw din yan, tapos binibenta uli, mm -hmm. you know? That is it's, very possible. That's very possible. The drug that industry is no, about 220 billion. Yeah, in the Philippines. That, that particular Can we incident, trust our PNP? That particular incident na nangyari sa Lipa kasi, I asked them nung that night okay. kung saan napunta. Sabi, tinurn over na sa national. And I was asking them sino nagbabantay. Mm -hmm. Nandun daw yung SOG, nandun yung PNP, nandun yung region, yung ating PNP sa Lipa, regional, nandun lahat. Tinurn over na raw sa national. I'll go back to my question. Can we trust uh, our military, our PNP? Halimbawa, By pagdating sa national, anong ginagawa nila? By and large, I think many of our people in the PNP are straight, no? Uh, but I'm sure that there are many... <laughs> Scalawags, as you would say. as well, di ba? Okay, pero eh, di ba, that's the chicken and egg problem right. na hinuhuli. Right. Tapos hindi naman natatapos that's ang problema right. kasi... Until we're able to pay eh. better salaries to our policemen, to our You go back to the men. issue of poverty, you go back to the issue of... That's right. Ang dami, di ba? How's the rest of ERA? What are your thoughts? Uh, I think it's not really up to the judiciary at this point in time, no? But if you were the Sandigan Bayan, Ralph, uh, well, I, what I would your opinion I, I, I would like to read the petitions of both lawyers. Okay. Before I could determine that. Ikaw, V, bilang kaibigan, bilang mayor, sa palagay mo? Well, of course, si former president, alam naman nating lahat, he's a friend, he's a colleague. Okay. Uh, kung nagsalita man ako noon, ang kine-question ko, yung governance at yung mga pulisiya na pinatakbo na hindi, hindi pinakinabangan talaga ng mga tao, kailangan talaga ng change. Personally, of course, I don't want him to suffer, but hindi mo pwedeng kalabanin ng sandigan bayan ko ano magiging desisyon nila. So, I, I just, uh, maghihintay na lang ako, pero naniniwala ako sa batas. Dapat okay. sundin ang batas. Because that's a raging debate right now. Yes. I mean, that's a very interesting debate mm -hmm. that all of us are watching, you know. Right. The right. lawyers of uh, the former president are saying, you know, a very powerful, actually, uh, defense, no? In, and, and then what people are saying on the other side, it's, it's a very interesting debate. Yeah, politically, I would favor a house arrest. Politically, but Anong not ibig legally. Sabihin, iba yun eh. iba politically, politically, you would favor a house arrest. Oh, because it's a national security issue, boy. It is not treating him uh, not in a only, special manner. Um, you know, the, there is a difference between a political issue and a legal issue. Correct. Diba? The Sandigan Bayan looks at it probably purely legal. I look at it, it, it has its own political elements. Which would prevail if you were to, if you were to, uh, if your opinion were to be asked? If I were the Should president... Should it be a political case? If I were the president, I'd treat it as a political case. Isn't, uh, isn't... Of course, it, uh, I, I mean, I, I would consider the political uh, uh, effects. Political effects meaning uh, you're not also sending the wrong message to people that you're accommodating because you are afraid of his following. Put it this way, you know, we, we, we put up a, what do you call this, a detention house or cell in Laguna. And dyan yan, di ba? Oh, anong mm -hmm. ibig sabihin nun? Di, special, rin, special attention na rin yun eh. Or building uh, di ba? another house in uh, the veterans. But anyway, right. Ralph, I remember political, one... Eh. It's, it's political, eh. It's a political flavor. Okay. There was a time when you said that uh, it was easier to win the lotto than to impeach era. Do you remember that statement? Uh, yes, I said that. Was uh, that a miscalculation or w w what was that? 
No, I said that uh, during the first, uh, no unang naglabas, lumabas si Chavit Singson, di ba? I remember that. And that uh, my reading of Congress then was okay. that, uh, you know, the president had control of the House. But I knew very well that kung tumumba yung House of Representatives, it would be easier to hit to to get the Senate as well. Okay. But of course, we, we saw how you fought also, mm -hmm. I mean, during those mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. V, you are the best person for, for this question. Ano ba ang pagkakaiba, ano ang pagkakapareho ng showbiz at saka politika? No comparison, boy. Malayo. Ah, talaga? Believe me, ang showbiz and politics, sa uh, experience ako personally, malayo. Uh, in, in, our, in our business, may mga intrigues, pero in, sa, personally, ah, Bearable, but in politics, I tell you, napipiko na ako talaga. <coughs> talaga? Believe me, hindi ko kaya yung... Matitiis mo yung intriga ng showbiz, I mean, pero yung politika? I mean, parang magkakamag-anak, maglaban-laban, magpatayan just for politics, yun na hindi ko makuhang... Hanggang ngayon, I tell Ralph, I, I, that's why I was telling Ralph nga, Ralph, bakit ganun ang politics? It's either of the two, I, I, I remember? Mm -hmm. Sabi ko sa kanya, either of the two, Ralph, it's either panindigan mo yung prinsipyo mo o pakain ka sa sistema. Kahit kumisan, kahit anong gusto mong ipaglaban ng prinsipyo mo, ba't yung system hindi ganun kadaling baliin? At saka yung so system na dyan na, napakataka. So it's either black or white. Okay. So pag paninindigan ng prinsipyo mo, umalis ka ng politics. Kung hindi naman, if you stay there, then okay lang. Go with the system. But sabi ni Ralph, doon sa black and white, may gray yan. Yung gray, you can use the system, pero magikinabang tao. So yun ang... But sa kaso ko kasi, dahil nga napipikon ako, it's either of the two. Pag pinanindigan ko ang prinsipyo ko, I don't think tatagal ako sa, sa politics. You've won many awards. Wala akong maisip na hindi mo pa napapanalunan. Ralph, uh, we know you're erudite in my standards. You, you have two MBAs. Do you guys compete? Before you answer me, before you answer me, we'll take another short break. You are still eavesdropping on this private conversation I'm having with Senator and Mrs. Ralph Recto. Stay with us. We will be back in a moment. All uh, policies and programs of government should be geared toward the upliftment of the Filipino family. We have strong families, we build a strong community, a strong community builds a strong nation. Ralph G. Recto obtained a total of 10,387,000. 108 votes as of June 4, 2001. Wherefore, we hereby proclaim the above-named candidate as a duly elected senator. Congratulations. some questions here you are still eavesdropping on this private conversation um okay <laughs> these are personal questions another baby uh ralph said in jeans show that you're working on a baby girl are you <laughs> we'd love to work on a baby girl yeah i just turned 28 right i no 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 v, 26 so we can have I'm sorry. three more kids <laughs> would you like another kid would you like oh another definitely kid? Now, I wanted to go to my original question before I, I, I proceed to the other questions. Do you ever compete? I don't think so. I don't know. There's no I don't competition. Think so. I don't think so. If there's an argument, I mean, siguro ngayon, when I was a mayor, if there's an argument, I guess it's more of the priorities of project for LIPA. How much but aside of, from uh, competition uh, between the two of us, wala. I don't know. How much of your political know-how comes for your husband? Well, he's my senior advisor. Yeah. Siguro yung lahat ng sinasabi niya sa'yo kanina, inaabot kami hanggang usually 5 o'clock in the morning listening to him, explain, ex explaining to me all these things. At saka napakadali matuto. Madali matuto. No, at yun ako yung sinasabi ko sa kanya. I always tell him, Ralph, enough. Please, doon sa sampu mong sinabi, maswerte na, ma-absorb ma ma ko doon yung tatlo, good enough. <laughs> you know, th this is exactly what uh, the next question is. Do you argue politics o over the dinner table? Even in the bedroom. <laughs> do you do that? Before or after? <laughs> Before, during, and after. <laughs> Before, during, and after. That's cool. <laughs> to Vilma, what would you do if you find out Ralph is having an affair? Well, we, be, between us, kasi, I always ask him straight. Eh. 
That's the only way. Pero kasi, my God, I've been in this business more than half of my life. Kung lahat ng chismis na pinakinggan ko, siguro wala na ako ngayon. Correct. But the thing is, itong separation namin, womanizing and all these things, dumaan na yan so many times. But the thing, I always ask him straight, is it true or not? Coming from him. Pag sinabi niyang, it's not true, then I'll listen to him. Pero wag lang siyang pahuhuli. Pag nahuli, no more say. <laughs> pag nahuli ko, ako talaga, first, ayoko na hear say eh. Ako pag nahuli ko, talagang I tell you, kilala mo yung Scorpio. Alam ko. <laughs> Scorpio ako. Alam ko. I mean, wala akong pinabalikan. Boy, <laughs> boy, boy, I think it's unfair, ha? Uh, it's your loss, not mine. You know, I was going to go to that next question. If you find out there's somebody <laughs> stalking <laughs> Vilma Santos, no, so, so madly in love with your wife. I, I don't believe that. You don't, uh, you don't. You know, I'm, uh, I think I'm very secure. I think Vilma's also very secure. I think she's very lucky to have me also. Ah? But, both, yeah. <laughs> no, but both of you are very public. So itong mga bagay na ito, hindi naiiwasan. Yeah, hindi na naiiwasan. Yeah, yeah. Bakit sa middle finger nakasuot ang wedding ring ni Ralph? <laughs> God, I mean, Kasi maluwag to, to, maluwag to. Ah, talaga? Oh, maluwag eh. If I put it here, mahuhulog eh. Did you notice? Yeah, Did you notice? Yeah. Eh, Miss Kiran, right after ng right after ng wedding namin, sa gitna na niya nilagay. Na uh, Actually, okay. mas maswerte pa. Look, he's wearing our wedding ring. Ako, hindi eh. <laughs> no, but at least we have a bond. I've never taken this out. No, never. But never. So, do you mind that your wife doesn't wear your wedding ring? That's, that's fine. Oh, no, no problem. No problem. No problem. Pero naman kami bond pareho. That's, that's yes. it. No, any Boy, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll tell you. I think I'm very fortunate and very lucky to have you as a wife. Number one, no? I can't imagine myself with any other woman. <laughs> wow. For the rest of my life, and that's true. No? You mean that? Of course, so you know oh, that, yes. you know that. Yeah, she does, she yeah. does. I can't, I can't imagine myself with any other person, no? Who I would uh, want to live with for and the rest of my life. And grow old for the rest. I mean, Precisely. grow old well, Precisely. I mean, and spend the rest of your life. But you know, I'm, I'm not a jealous type. Vilma is a jealous type. Hindi ka seloso? Hindi ako seloso. Ito seloso. Oo, oh, seloso ako. Seloso ako. Yeah, seloso. At saka lumalaban. Yeah, that's true. Diba? Lumalaban. You know, I, I'd like Kaya to point out for you. No, 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 which side of the bed does she sleep on? Left side. Talagang left yes, side, right. <laughs> The first thing that V does when she wakes up. <laughs> Have a massage. Talaga? Yeah. The moment you wake up? Ay, misang tulog pa ako, nandun na yung magmamasahe. <laughs> Pampagisi namin to. <laughs> Paano mo alam, Ralph, when she's not in the mood? Ano yung manifestations? When she's not in the mood? Uh-uh. Uh, uh, when in the mood can mean so many things. Right? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> when she's not in the mood. Uh, when she's not in the mood... But he makes some poems. Well, de oh, oh. definitely, when she's masungit, 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 masungit. Ah, talaga? Uh, what do you do when you're, you're masungit? I don't talk to him. <laughs> what do you do when she doesn't talk to you? I don't talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite part of Ralph's body? His feet. Talaga. Yeah, you know. I, I can do wonderful things with my feet, boy. Let's try it, Ralph. Let's try it, Ralph. No, that's a joke. Senator Ralph. No, I was about to. No, I love you. We're so dirty. Mal ko yung paanya. Alam mo ba na ang paanya? Hundred percent kamo ka ng paani Ryan. Exacto, exacto, pati corte, exacto. Favorite part of this body? Definitely not her feet. Tua, tua, tua. Ayaw niya yung mga veins. Ayaw niya. No, no, no. I like women with, not that my opinion matters. I like women with veins. It's strength. Alam mo yun, yung gusto ko sa kayo. Ayaw ko, ayaw ko. Unfortunately, ayaw. Your favorite, uh, favorite part yeah. of her body, of yeah. course, the most important part. Okay, pag nag-aakit pala lang pasing ko po yan. This is a 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock show. <laughs> no, so, I mean, you're asking me. I mean, yeah, uh, I know, I know, I know. Sino ang unang nakikipagbate? Pag halimbawa kayo yung nag-aaway? Ako. Ay, ikaw? Ikaw ang sumusurrender? <laughs> ano yan? Uh, boy, boy, ha? Okay. Ito, ha? Siguro 99%. Oh, lahat ng away namin. Totoo yan. Okay. I always have to give in. 99%. Talaga? Totoo yan. Saka martir mo nun. Totoo yan. No, but one thing I've learned from him, honestly, honestly. Okay. Kasi, syempre, 
Ang karakter ang karakter ko may pagka ano eh domineering ba? Syempre okay. because bata ka pa nagtatrabaho ko na. So you make your own, you decide for yourself, you know. Mm. One thing I've learned from Ralph, yung yung wag kang mahihiya magsalita ng sorry. Or to apologize, so say sorry pag mali ka, aminin mo. Kasi And naman tayo, sorry. alam mo, mga Scorpio, pag nagsusorry tayo, mayabang pa rin. <laughs> alam mo yun? Sorry na, mali ko. <laughs> Palaban pa rin. <laughs> ayaw mo pa rin. Actually, ayaw mo ibigay 100%. Correct, But at least diba? sinabi mo sorry. <laughs> diba? And boy, a relationship eh, give and take yan, ano? <laughs> She <laughs> takes and I give. <laughs> no, it's not true, ha? Totoo yan. Ito so, ulitin ko lang yung sinabi ko. Okay. I think kaya rin kami nagkiklik. Uh, ito, let's face it. Nagkiklik. May, Masyado akong mabayit sa kanya. No, Ralph. Ito talaga, V. No, he's, he's yung, very nice. No, he's very nice. Yes, yes. Mas thoughtful to kesa sa akin. Sa totoo talaga? lang. Talaga? How sa... does he express? How, how does he express? I'm thoughtful and she is not. <laughs> so, wala ko lang kung sinisiraan dito. Talaga? Like, uh, he, he brings gifts. I mean, even to this day. Yeah. Mm, tsaka pag yung special occasions, lagi siyang may, may gift. Ako nga, minsan nakakalimut ako. <laughs> Kahit nga birthday ko, Christmas, wala yan. <laughs> Meron? No, 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 no. That's not true, Ralph. No, that's not true. You know why? <laughs> I don't give it on that day. You know why? Meron na siya lahat, Ted. Eh. That's why I'll tell you. O, sige, Ralph, magpagawa ka na lang ng Amerikana, sagot ko. Okay. I mean, you know, kasi meron na siya lahat. Pero iba pa rin yun. Yung may But nakabalik. But nahirap ako ang isipan siya <laughs> kung anong ibibigay. Because... That's what thoughtfulness is all about. Yeah, diba? but uh, hindi mo naman gagamitin uh, pagka, ano. Bagaan na-complain yung boy, ha? Hindi na gagamitin pag hindi expensive. Of course not. <laughs> oh, my God. Ralph. It's not a matter of expense. It's just a matter of okay, okay. okay. <laughs> This is one of my last questions. How do you want Chris Chan one day to write about his uh, Oh, that, yes. That, that's, that's very, very nice, yeah. You know, you know, boy, I'm not that's that true. ambitious. I'm not an ambitious person. No, you don't because... want to be president of this country anymore? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, if opportunities available... <laughs> not if him, his son. It, oh, okay. But if how do you want Chris Chan one day? If I were prepared for it, why not? But, Correct. you know, to, to step on other people to achieve that... It's not, that's not my cup of tea, you know? Okay. To me, what's more important is the legacy that I leave behind. Yeah. And that legacy, the most important legacy is for my son to say that I'm glad he's my father. And mother, of course. <laughs> no. no, I will ask you that. How, how, how would you want same Christian? Same thing, same thing. Same thing. It's a name, oh. Yung po pwede niya ipagmalaki. Na, uh, nanay ko yan. Nanay ko yan, oh, yan. Oh, because, you know, you, you, you said it in the past, V, that, you know, I'd like to be remembered as a good mother. That's How true. do you want people to remember as, Ralph? Uh, as a good father, definitely. 20 years from now, where are you guys? Where do you see yourselves? 20 years from now, 15 years, years from now. Nasaan kayo, Ralph? 207? Uh, no, 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 no. Ano uh, ngayon? Two, I, I, ano ba ngayon? 2001, 2020. Nasaan kayong dalawa? I guess with our grandchildren. Are you in the Ilog Pasig, in the palace there? Ah, uh, uh, no, no. No, earlier. Years from now? Earlier. Uh, 20 years from now, it's maganda kung retired na. Ah, talaga? Yeah. You would want to retire. And when you talk about retirement, where are you? I don't think in public service for the rest of my life, no? Yeah, that's right. Oh. One word, describe Vilma. As a last. Uh, describe Vilma. In one word. One word. Get <laughs> One word. <laughs> uh, one word, Ralph. In one word, uh, it's difficult for me to describe it in one word. Just one word. Senator Alfred. Okay. Uh, <laughs> difficult for me. <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Say it. Vilma, one word, Ralph. Aggressive. Ask me how I felt tonight talking to both of you. How do you feel? Heaven. <laughs> that's mine. Boy, that's mine. No, but boy, I'd like to reiterate, no? like okay. I said earlier, no? right. uh, maybe I would not be able to describe her in one word, but like but. I said, no, I'm very fortunate to have her as a wife. I agree. Ralph V, thank you. Thank you, boy. Thank But you she's more this. fortunate to have me as a husband. <laughs> thank you for <laughs> describing I knew it. Thank you, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all for now, guys. Thank you for eavesdropping. This is Boy Abuda saying, I'll be with you again next week. Good night. God bless.